What is going on guys? It is Tommy Karate coming at you with another episode of Turn It Up Tuesday. This week I got a very special episode today. I told you guys in the last episode I'm going to have two special guests today. So it's a very special episode. This week's episode is going to be called What's in the Refrigerator? That's right, what is in the refrigerator? So as you guys know in previous stories, I told you guys me and my wife recently just moved in to a new house. We left a crazy apartment, and if you guys didn't see the crazy apartment stories, I have a playlist, go check those out, and go check out those, those stories. But anyway, so now we moved into this new house. Well, we didn't move in yet. We closed in on this house. Now, we have a week to move in, okay? We're moving in, actually we closed in, we closed on the house on Monday, we're moving on Sunday. So we got a lot of stuff to do in between, okay? Now, one of the things we have to do is we have the refrigerator. Now, the refrigerator hasn't been used for a little while before we moved in, in between that time. So, now we have to get in the refrigerator. I, I'm looking at the refrigerator, it's pretty bad, it smells. This refrigerator is bad, it's dirty, and then my wife, Mary, she's like, hey, I think we need a new refrigerator. Now, me, I'm like, no, we don't need a new refrigerator, you know why? Because I have Mama Dukes. Mama Dukes is a cleaning machine. So she is great at cleaning. I call Mama Dukes up, Mama Karate. Hey, do you think you can help clean up the refrigerator when we're cleaning up the house before we move in? And Mama Karate says, yeah, no problem. I got it, I got you. So, before I can continue with the story, I have to bring in my two special guests to further tell the beginning of this story. So, without further ado, I want to introduce to you guys my wife, Mary Karate. So Mary Karate, come on in. <laughs> Don't be shy, we're gonna turn it up today. And not only do I have Mary Karate, I also have Mama Karate. That's right, Mama Karate, come on in. These two, I'm gonna sit down for a second and I'm gonna let these two tell you a story about what was in the refrigerator, all right? Go ahead, girls, take it away. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so as Tom said, we moved into this house and he didn't mention that the previous homeowner was a hoarder. So that should sum it up a little bit. But anyway, so me and my wonderful mother-in-law, we go over, we're gonna tackle the cleaning. So we get the rest of the kitchen done. We saved the refrigerator for last because we knew that was gonna be the worst. So um, you wanna kind of oh go my over God. what so we did? We had sprayed it the night before and the whole place stunk really, really bad. So we knew that we had to gear up. And so we were geared up with gloves all the way up to here. We had two masks on. We, I even had glasses on. I don't know what else we had, but then when we were ready to open the refrigerator, we would take a huge deep breath, suck it in, open it, and take a part out and run out the front door. We had the front door <laughs> wide open so that we could just get out. Yep. So I took my first piece, then Mary went and took her second piece. So yep. go ahead, Mary. <laughs> yeah, so she grabs the top shelf out of the refrigerator and books it. She's outside. I go take a deep breath and I'm trying to get the bottom shelf out, but the bottom shelf's attached to the two drawers. So the way that the refrigerator is, it's angled and the door doesn't open up all the way. And I'm sitting there and I'm pulling and I'm pulling and the stupid thing's not coming out. I have to close the refrigerator, go take another breath. I finally get this thing out and I'm running outside. She's out there, she's got the hose, she's, you know, hose in the shelf down, you know, she's like, all right, this isn't so bad, we got this. And as I'm walking, on my, I think my gloves might have been pink or purple, and I see something on my hand, and I'm like, what is that? What is that? And then I drop the oh. thing. And I had one in mine. Maggots. Maggots. Can't get away from the bag. That's when we oh. both were gonna throw up. Yep. We just sat there and we're like, oh, who's here? <laughs> we're done. <laughs> done. We're done. We gave up. We put our hands up. The whole house smelled so bad we couldn't go bad. back in the house just from opening the door. It was yep. gross. Picture this. They emptied the refrigerator, left it. Um, I think, was it turned off? Did they turn it, it might off? Have been turned off yeah. I think they might have yeah. turned it off, and whatever was in there was just. Fermenting. Yeah. So I am now almost crying. Basically, I didn't call. She's Tom. like, I can't put a piece of food in there and I'm, eat it. Yeah. No, I, I didn't have to. I just can't do it. Not doing it. I'm a germaphobe as it is. I called Tom and I'm hysterical in a panic. 
I'm not, we're getting rid of it. <laughs> getting rid of it, I don't care how. Do your thing. So. But you have to tell them what happened when the guys actually came to bring the new refrigerator. That's right. Yes. So yes. now there's more to this story. So, uh, so I'm gonna continue with this story, but I do want to thank Mama Karate <laughs> and Mary Karate for coming on this episode. Thank you very much. Yeah. So yeah, so now, after they clean the, they're over there and they try to clean it up. Now, if Mama Karate says, that's it, and she puts the gloves in, and she's calling it quits, guess what? It, it was bad, it was bad. I gotta say, it's gotta be bad then. So now, remember, uh, we still didn't move in yet. So now I'm over, and I'm over at the old apartment. I'm working from home. Mary calls me up. Hey, tells me the whole story. So now I have my lunch break. He's coming up in a half hour. So I have to run. Now on my lunch break, remember, we're moving in on Sunday. You did, oh, she threw in the towel. That's it. She threw in the towel. So, <laughs> man, mama karate with the props over here. So now, so now I'm like, all right, fine. I'm going to go on lunch. And I tell ex, ex Mary karate, I said, what size is the refrigerator? Well, Mary Karate doesn't know what size the refrigerator is, and she's up to her elbows in cleaning with all the other stuff. So I'm like, all right, no problem. So now lunch break comes. I have one hour, right? One hour. So I get in my car. I got to drive to the new house now. Get to the new house. I take out the tape measure and measure up the refrigerator. Okay, got it. Now I'm going to run PC Richards. Uh, PC Richards is not sponsored this video, but I'm going to give him a lot of props, and you'll see why. But anyway, so I gotta run this PC Richards now. On my lunch break, now I already killed like 20 minutes or so trying to go, drive into the house, measure it, drive back. She's of course it's a half hour by this time. So now I'm over to PC Richards. I walk into PC Richards. Now, mind you, at this point, I don't know if anybody knows about the, the real estate market or anything else, but it is crazy, and there's been a lot of houses for sale. Houses are flying off the market. We had a hard time finding our house. You know, you put offers in, and, and you know, and houses are, are getting sold within days. It's just, it's within hours. It's crazy. So anyway, with all these houses being sold, all these people upgrading their appliances. They move in, they want to upgrade the appliances. So finding appliances is almost impossible at this point. So I get to PC Richards. I'm just praying that I can get any refrigerator. Now Mary tells me, I trust you. I trust your judgment. Just get a refrigerator, it's gonna fit. I just want stainless steel. Well, how many times does the husband get free reign to buy any refrigerator that they want? It's a trap, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's a trap. So I'm like, now meanwhile, I don't think it's a trap at first. I'm like, yeah, this is great. I go to PC Richards, I just pick out whatever one I want and then call it a day. Guys, if any guys watching this, don't fall for that trap. So anyway, so I get to PC Richards, I find the first salesman, and he's like, well, what do you want? What are you, what are you looking for? And I'm like, listen to me. I got, I'm on my lunch break, I have 25 minutes left, I need a refrigerator, ASAP, and he's like, oh my God, what's going on? I explained to him the whole story. I'm in PC Richards, I'm jumping around, I'm like, listen, I gotta go, I gotta go. He's like, all right, he's like, come on. So I, so I point to the one refrigerator, there's three refrigerators that are stainless steel in our size. I like the one refrigerator, point to it, I said, do you have this one in stock? I was like, I need to buy, I need to buy Sunday. He looks, he goes, that one? That one's out of stock for like six months. And I'm like, okay. He's like, I can look it up. Let me see if I, no, 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 next, next. Don't look up anything. Go to the next one. How about this one? He goes, hold on, let me see. Yep, I can have that one delivered to you by Saturday. Perfect, by Saturday. Okay, so he's like, yeah, he's like, come on. I'll go write you up. I said, like, I'll get you out of here in the next 10 minutes. So we go to the register, and of course when we get to the register, he's like, oh, what handle? You want right or left handle? He's like, I'm like, oh, I don't know. And he's like, which way you want the door to open? He's like, go look at, this, go look at the, the floor model. Tell me, I'm running back, running. I find the floor model. I'm like, yep, this is the way I want it to open. Whichever way this is opening, that's the way I want it to open. Okay, great. So he's going to write that up. Now we also needed a dryer. So I wasn't going to bring the dryer up at this point, but I was like, hey, I'm at PC Richards, but I need a dryer. Hey, do you have a dryer? And the guy's like, yeah, what do you need? I need an electric dryer. The guy's like, oh, come on. And I, I need a gas dryer. He's like, come on. He's showing me the dryer. He's like, how about this one? This one? He's like, I need a name brand. This one. And then he's like, how about this? Yeah, in stock? Yeah, I can have it delivered by Saturday? Yeah, perfect, okay. And he's like, let me look, let me tell you about the specs. And I don't care. Is it a dry? Is it going to dry my clothes? Yeah. Is it going to have by Saturday? Yeah, let's go. I got to go, I got to get back to work. Okay, so he's writing it up, boom, 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 boom. We're done. I have 10 minutes left. I'm like, yeah, thanks, man. 
fist bump, yeah, you're, you're man, you saved my throat up real quick, and I'm out of here. I'm out of peace, Richard. Get back to work, plug back in, and now I didn't even get a chance to tell Mary what refrigerator had, right? so I'm running around. Now we have a group chat at work, and I told the group chat at work, I was like, hey guys, I'm going to Peace Ridge, told them the story, right? And my group chat would be back, and I told them, yeah guys, I picked out a refrigerator all by myself. And they were all like, Tom, what did you do? You didn't tell your ex-wife what your refrigerator? I said, no, she told me, just pick one out. Tom, that was a problem. You're going to be in trouble. So Mary texts me, hey, how did everything go? And then I tell her, she's like, send me a picture, send me a link. I send her a link. Guess what? Can you guys guess what happened? Yep, Mary hates the refrigerator. She hates it. She hates it. I picked out the wrong one. But what can you do? It's not that bad. It still works. And we're living with it. So anyway, that's the story of what is in the refrigerator. So I hope you guys liked it. Again, special guest, uh, special thanks to my guest, Mama Karate. Mary Karate. Oh, by the way, hold on. Hold on a second. Mm -hmm. Let me reel it back for a second because I almost forgot something. When they came to deliver the, the refrigerator, Mary Karate tells them, tells the one guy, hey, listen, whatever you do, just don't open the refrigerator because it smells really bad. I'm warning you right now, don't open it. The guy's like, oh, okay. And Mary's like, I don't know, should I, I have to go tell the other guy. The guy's like, no, oh, no, no, no. I'll tell him. I'll tell the other guy because there's two guys. I'll tell him. Well, he told them. The other guy didn't listen. Guy went in there. Guess what he did? Opened up the refrigerator. Boom! Like a punch in the face. He got that smell like a punch in the face. So he didn't listen. She didn't listen to the other guy. Should have listened. But what can you do? But anyway, they got that refrigerator out of there. New refrigerator is in. Everything smells good. Yay. So anyway, like I said, special thanks to Mommy Karate, to Mary Karate came in. I want everybody to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I'll come at you next week with a new episode and a new story. Tommy Karate out.